Our planet is home to creatures so strange they seem almost unreal. From the depths of the ocean to the heart of the rainforest, life on Earth never ceases to amaze. Join me as we explore the fascinating lives of animals you may have never even heard of, each with their own unique adaptations and stories to tell. Get ready to be surprised, delighted, and maybe even a little bit bewildered by the sheer strangeness of our planet's inhabitants. Our first stop takes us to the ancient lakes of Mexico, where we meet a creature seemingly frozen in time, the axolotl. This remarkable amphibian can remain in its larval stage throughout its entire life, a phenomenon known as neotini. Imagine spending your entire life underwater, never needing to grow up. This unusual adaptation is perfectly suited to the axolotl's environment. Its feathery gills, resembling a crown of delicate plumes, extract oxygen from the water while its soft pink skin allows it to blend seamlessly amongst the reeds. But the axolotl's youthful appearance belies its remarkable regenerative abilities. Should it lose a limb or even a part of its heart or brain, the axolotl can simply regrow it, a feat unmatched by most other vertebrates. Scientists are fascinated by this extraordinary ability, hoping to one day unlock the secrets of axolotl regeneration to benefit human medicine. Living up to 15 years in the wild, these gentle creatures are unfortunately critically endangered due to habitat loss and pollution. From the serene lakes of Mexico, we journey to the vibrant coral reefs of the Indo-Pacific, home to a creature that packs a powerful punch, the peacock mantis shrimp. Don't let its small size and dazzling colors fool you. This crustacean is a formidable predator with a weapon like no other. Imagine throwing a punch with the force of a 22 caliber bullet. The peacock mantis shrimp can do just that using its club-like appendages to deliver lightning fast strikes. These strikes are so powerful that they create cavitation bubbles, tiny pockets of vapor that generate intense heat and sound, adding to their destructive power. Its eyes are among the most complex in the animal kingdom, capable of seeing 12 primary colors compared to our measly three. This incredible vision allows them to perceive ultraviolet and polarized light, giving them a unique perspective on their underwater world. The peacock mantis shrimp's striking appearance serves both to attract mates and warn rivals, showcasing the power and beauty that coexist within this tiny creature. Uh, now, we plunge into the depths of the ocean, a realm of perpetual darkness and crushing pressure where survival takes on strange and fascinating forms. Here we encounter a creature that seems to have stepped out of a science fiction novel, the anglerfish. Imagine a fish with a built-in fishing rod complete with a glowing lure. That's the anglerfish, a master of deception that uses bioluminescence to attract prey in the pitch black depths. This eerie glow emanates from a fleshy appendage called an esker, which dangles enticingly above the anglerfish's mouth, beckoning unsuspecting prey closer. The anglerfish's appearance is as bizarre as its hunting strategy. Its mouth is enormous, with sharp inward-pointing teeth that ensure nothing escapes its grasp once lured in by the glowing esker. But perhaps the most intriguing aspect of the anglerfish is its unusual mating ritual. When a male anglerfish encounters a female, he latches onto her body with his sharp teeth, fusing his tissues with hers. Over time, the male essentially becomes a parasitic appendage, providing sperm to the female while she provides him with nourishment. Chapter 4. The Vampire Squid, Phantom of the Deep. Our exploration of the deep continues with a creature shrouded in mystery and intrigue, the Vampire Squid. Imagine a cephalopod draped in a velvety cloak, with eyes that glow an eerie blue or red depending on the light. The vampire squid's most striking feature is its webbed arms, connected by a thin membrane that resembles a cape, giving it a distinctly otherworldly appearance. Despite its name, the vampire squid is not a bloodthirsty predator. In fact, it subsists on a diet of marine snow, a delicate rain of organic debris that falls from the upper layers of the ocean. To capture this food, the vampire squid extends two long filamentous arms, which are covered in sticky cells that trap the falling particles. When threatened, the vampire squid retreats into its cloak, inverting its webbed arms over its body, transforming itself into a spiky ball. This defensive posture, along with the production of bioluminescent mucus, confuses and deters potential predators. Chapter 5. The Leafy Sea Dragon master of disguise. From the dark depths we ascend to the sunlit waters of southern Australia, 
where we encounter a master of camouflage, the leafy sea dragon. This extraordinary fish has evolved to blend seamlessly with its surroundings, making it nearly invisible to both predators and prey. Imagine a fish adorned with flowing appendages that resemble seaweed, swaying gently with the ocean currents. The leafy sea dragon's elaborate camouflage is so effective that it can be incredibly difficult to spot, even when you're looking for it. Unlike most fish, the leafy sea dragon lacks scales and relies on its leafy appendages for propulsion, moving slowly and deliberately through its kelp forest home. This slow, graceful movement further enhances its camouflage, making it appear as just another piece of swaying seaweed. The leafy sea dragon's remarkable adaptations are a testament to the power of natural selection, showcasing the incredible ways in which animals have evolved to survive in their environments. Chapter 6. The I.I. Eye Eye, a Nocturnal Enigma Our journey takes us now to the rainforest of Madagascar, home to a creature as peculiar as its name, the I.I. Eye Eye. This nocturnal primate is one of the most unusual animals on Earth, with a suite of adaptations that have fascinated and perplexed scientists for centuries. Imagine a primate with bat-like ears, constantly swiveling to pinpoint the location of grubs hidden deep within tree trunks. The eye eye's exceptional hearing is just one of its many remarkable adaptations. Its most striking feature, however, is its long skeletal middle finger, which it uses to tap on trees, listening for the telltale sounds of insect larvae beneath the bark. Once located, the eye eye uses its sharp teeth to gnaw a hole in the wood before extracting the grub with its elongated finger. The eye eye's large, forward-facing eyes, another adaptation to its nocturnal lifestyle, give it excellent night vision, allowing it to navigate the dense rainforest under the cover of darkness. Sadly, the eye eye is endangered due to habitat loss and superstition. Chapter 7. The Blobfish, unattractive but adaptable. Our next encounter takes us back to the deep sea, where we meet a creature that has been dubbed the world's ugliest animal, the blobfish. While its gelatinous appearance may not win any beauty contests, the blobfish is a testament to the incredible adaptability of life on Earth. Imagine a fish that looks like a blob of pink jelly with a perpetually grumpy expression. The blobfish's unusual appearance is a result of its adaptation to the extreme pressure of the deep sea. Its body is composed of a gelatinous mass with very little muscle, allowing it to withstand the crushing weight of the water. At such depths, food is scarce, and the blobfish has evolved a rather passive hunting strategy. It floats slowly above the seabed, its mouth agape, waiting for unsuspecting prey to wander within range. Its gelatinous body also allows it to conserve energy, a valuable adaptation in an environment where resources are limited. Our journey takes us to the icy waters of the Arctic, where we encounter a creature as mythical as it is real, the narwhal. Often called the unicorn of the sea, the narwhal is a whale with a unique and enigmatic tusk that has captivated humans for centuries. Imagine a whale with a single spiraled tusk that can grow up to 10 feet long. This remarkable tusk, which protrudes from the upper left jaw of males and occasionally females, is actually an elongated tooth with sensory capabilities. Scientists believe the narwhal's tusk plays a role in sensory perception, allowing it to detect changes in water pressure, temperature and salinity. It may also be used for communication, social interactions, and even for stunning prey. Narwhals are social animals, often gathering in pods of up to 20 individuals. They communicate with each other using a variety of clicks, whistles, and pulsed calls, their voices echoing through the frigid Arctic waters. However, climate change is posing a significant threat to their habitat, as melting sea ice makes them more vulnerable to predation and disrupts their migration patterns. Our penultimate stop takes us to the rivers and streams of Eastern Australia, where we meet a creature that seems like a hodgepodge of different animals, the platypus. This egg-laying mammal is a true biological paradox, defying classification and captivating naturalists for centuries. Imagine a creature with the bill of a duck, the tail of a beaver and the feet of an otter. The platypus's unique appearance is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to its unusual biology. Unlike most mammals which give birth to live young, the platypus lays eggs. These leathery-shelled eggs are laid in burrows dug into riverbanks where they are incubated by the female. Once hatched, the platypus pups are nourished with milk secreted from pores on the mother's abdomen. The platypus lacks nipples, so the pups lap up milk from their mother's fur. Another unusual feature of the platypus is its venomous spurs found on the hind legs of males.
Our final destination takes us to the eucalyptus forests of Australia, where we encounter a bird with a call as distinctive as its appearance, the kookaburra. Known for its iconic laugh-like call, the kookaburra is a charismatic and intelligent bird that has become a symbol of the Australian bush. Imagine a bird whose call sounds like a chorus of human laughter echoing through the forest. The kookaburra's distinctive call is used for a variety of purposes, including defending territory, attracting mates and communicating with other members of the group. Kookaburras are highly social birds living in family groups that cooperate to raise their young and defend their territory. They are also opportunistic feeders, with a diet that includes insects, small reptiles, amphibians and even birds. Their strong beaks and sharp talons make them adept hunters, capable of snatching prey from the ground or plucking it from branches. The kookaburra's intelligence and adaptability have made it a successful species throughout its range. From the depths of the ocean to the heart of the rainforest, our planet is teeming with weird and wonderful creatures, each with its own unique story to tell. Thank you for joining me on this journey of discovery. If you enjoyed this exploration of Earth's most bizarre animals, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Curiosity Corner for more incredible adventures into the natural world.